Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm on here to do a quick what I've been warming with a fave and a fail. Uh, I feel like I just did one not long ago. <laughs> and I did, just not long ago. Uh, but, you know, the weather, it's, you know, it's, we had our, all our snow was gone. It was down to the grass and uh, it was feeling, you know, everyone's getting, feeling a little bit springy. You're seeing people walking around in shorts, crazy, crazy nuts. It's not that warm, but anyway, everyone was sort of feeling that. And then on the weekend we woke up and there was snow. So it's back to that. And, you know, January and February are kind of cozy months. So I was burning through wax, you know, I was just trying to use up some of the odds and bods and stuff I don't really like that much sometimes and just things like that trying to get through some of it so that I, I end up with just like a core of wax that I love so anyway I have another stack here and I want to recycle it so let me get started I'll start with non-wax things I did get through uh, scent soft and a laundry liquid and fluffy fleece uh, the scent soft I've had uh, probably typically I use a laundry liquid and one and a half large tubs of washer whips and then the scents off goes through maybe two or three bundles of the laundry liquid because I only use scents off on my bedding and at Christmas I had company so I was washing a lot of bedding but my husband and I it's just him and I here and so typically we wash our bedding every week you know a little bit of scents off in the sheets or I, I, you know maybe I'll wash the throws you know the cozy throws we have in the TV room and stuff but yeah I don't go through much so this lasts way longer really really love the laundry liquid it does really great job in my clothes um, I will be hauling on uh, March 1st a fluff uh, uh, Fiji flower just to use with my clothes because I use this with towels and other things and the, the scent and then I'll use the Fiji flower. I won't bother with whiffs for, the, for my clothes but I, I'll use the laundry liquid because it does really clean. And I did hear some scuttly butt from somebody that was, they, they had mentioned that the laundry liquid was not, was making their clothes smell funny and then I think it was Lisa Roberry maybe who was talking about it on our question and answer and she said you know check your washer or if you have a front load and all this other things but um i use i have a new washer and dryer but i use i like a top load i don't like the door propped open on a front load and so um but i use a deep wash uh, you have an option for deep wash because now they're trying to save you know be um save water <laughs> So it's it's definitely, you know, streamlined that process. So anyway, I find it's fine. It doesn't make my clothes smell anything but lovely. And I've had my my senior uh, lovely little Mary that lives next door to me. She often has commented on how good it smells. <laughs> anyway, that's I've been through that. Uh, I did haul some more scents off. And I will get an order that I ordered for that and share with you when it gets here. Then I did do... Uh, put move my uh, maple apple bourbon pods down to my furnace room which is where I send them to use them up every last but this one here I had it in my back landing before Christmas and then I put it back in the case and set it in my cupboard to wait to use down in the furnace room I went through several other pods in the meantime which were sort of disappointing then I dug this one out to put in my furnace room just the other day and I opened it up and whoo I could still smell it so yeah this is a really good pod it performed very well back there um, as I've mentioned in previous videos I've had a bit of trouble with some of the pods so I'm eliminating them from my back landing area where I typically warm them I'm just going to use them in my car and in my Sensi Go in my motorhome and that's what I'm going to use them for and I've uh, started using a mini mini warmer in my bathroom and I'm using wallflower plugs from Bath and Body Works and oils in my back landing that's that. <laughs> um, went through finally this brick of sweet orange pomander. I got this in December 2021. It was one of the uh, bricks offered in that year and um, I think I had three four cubes maybe left and I warmed a piece of one downstairs and my husband smelled it and he really really, really liked it so he asked if he could have some for his man cave so I just gave him the rest of the brick. I cut it up in pieces for him. Took him like you know 
couple months, several months to use it up, but he's used it up now. He has a new stash of stuff out there. Anyway, he really, really liked it. I liked it too. Uh, it's just um, clove, cinnamon, and sweet orange. So very nice. Done. I have a few bricks, I'll show you. I have something to ask about them, but I'll do that later. Anyway, uh, in my bathroom, in my new little warmer, I, I thought I'd put a full-size one in there, but I thought, let me try a small one. So what, what, which one have I got in there? Hmm, I can't remember. It's white, ceramic. <laughs> anyway, um, I think it's the, it might be the, oh no, it's one of that weave, that basket weave one. It's an old one. That's right. White, it's very nice. Anyway, I did use uh, this, uh, Cunning and Ambition, that's a Slytherin bar in there. I did uh, one cube in the warmer. It was very hard to smell in there. I'm not sure why. And so then I went and tried a second cube on another day. And again, it just didn't translate well in the bathroom. I had, I still have it sort of decorated for winter with a little fir tree, you know, fake fir tree. So I wanted to maybe do something green, like fir, slightly fir tree in there but this one just didn't it, I could smell it it was nice but it didn't really do what I wanted it so then I went and dug out a coconut cotton that I have in my stash and this was a bring back my bar from January of 2022 anyway uh, coconut and cotton it's very nice and I put one cube in that thing and whoa it's doing really well so I might, I'm gonna just save the rest of this bar just for that bathroom. Cause it's a nice neutral scent too, cotton co coconut. And it goes with the rooms, other rooms around it. So anyway, that worked really well. Then let me do the downstairs. I uh, put the green tea smoothie. I had tested a couple of cubes and then I had the rest of the bar left. So I put it in my three warmers and in my family room and my laundry room. It is uh, green tea, fresh ginger, peach, nectarine, and cranberry. Uh, I don't care for this one. I know a lot of people, some people like it. Not, I'm not sure how many, but I, I've heard other people who quite, are quite thrilled with it. I don't get the ginger. Maybe I would like it more if I could smell that. I smell, well, my husband went down there one day and he said to me, what is that smell down there? And I said, why? What does it smell like? He said, it smells like a compost. <laughs> So he thought it smelled like a compost bucket, you know, the ones you put under your sink, the compost things, a little bit of veggie, a little bit of fruit, little few eggshells, <laughs> coffee grounds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a couple tea bags. <laughs> anyway, not for me. Uh, then I had hauled this um, African uh, mahogany at Value Village. Uh, it is woods, musk, and amber. It smells really nice in the clam. Uh, and it was nice down there. It has a really kind of mahogany, spicy mahogany scent, but it was very light. So, and that room down there, my family room, it really, really works well. It, you know, it, it contains things. It keeps it in there. I don't know. But this one didn't do well, so I had swapped it out, and I pulled up this Aladdin. This is Arabian Nights, and it's bergamot, lang lang, musk, and um, I hauled this from a clearance or a flash sale, I think. Anyway, I had never tried it before. Uh, I love the smell of it. It just was so light. Again, I had it in the family room, so that poor family room <laughs> struggled <laughs> to smell for a couple of days. It either got compost bucket or two really light, spicy, incense type bars. So anyway, uh, what's going down there right now? Fluffy fleece. I'm trying to do away. Oh I'm trying to use up the the brick, so I've got the whole downstairs with fluffy fleece. <laughs> anyway, um, now in my bedroom, I did uh, NHL Fresh Ice. This is Cold Air's uh, mint and sandalwood. I love this bar. I took it out of my club because I thought it's going to be coming back, and I have I hauled like four bars, so I'm good to go till it comes back. Um, it's very minty, uh, you know, very minty on day, when you put it in for most of the first day, it's quite minty and fresh air. Then it sort of taps down a bit the mint and then it's just like light mint and sandalwood. It's so, so nice. I love it on both days. It's a great refreshing room scent too. 
you know, when you've got the window shut and everything's sort of stale it's great. It was a great, and then I think I used um, it in the bedroom, and then I might have used it in the office as well. Then I did the pink sunshine. This is one of the Valentine's bars. Pear, plum, uh, cashmere, rose milk. I warmed it twice in the bedroom, uh, two, two separate warmings. Um, I wish there was more cashmere. It needs a little more cashmere for me. It's got a sharp edge kind of when it's warming. It smells like a, I, it might be the, well, I don't know if it's the plum or the pear. I smell more pear than I smell plum. And there's rose milk, which I didn't find bad. That's probably the prettiest part of it, the rose milk and cashmere. There you go, rose milk and cashmere. That would be a good bar. It's something about the fruit I don't like. So anyway, I used it up. It was pleasant enough. I, would, I wouldn't haul any more. I know all of the stuff in that pink. What is it? Pink? Pink what? Pink sunshine. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all that pink sunshine, uh, like the fragrance flower, the twist, the whole the whole shebang. It's all sold sold out. So people love it. Just I just found a little something off about it. And then I dug up my French kiss. I got. I've got one more. This was my club for a long, long time. This and um, My Wish. And then I just had to make room for the another set of Bring Back My Bars, I think. And then this one here, I love it. It's fig and um, I don't, I didn't write the notes in it. Fig and amber or sandalwood or something like that. It's, it's got a, it's got a really nice uh, density to it. Anyway, I, um, warmed that in my bedroom and, but it and it's good in there but it's not a powerhouse so i couldn't warm it anywhere else so i took it out of my club but i really really like it it's super pretty uh in my overnight warmers um i did vanilla bourbon now i've mentioned before i hauled some at father's day a couple of bars i got were boomers did really well and a couple i can barely smell this is a can barely smell bar <laughs> i can smell it here i can smell the nutmeg the vanilla and the bourbon. I can smell it there, but when I warmed it in my overnight warmers, I had put two cubes in uh, and I turn it on. I usually turn my overnight warmer on about an, a half hour before I go in there. And so it was just starting to warm and I got in there. I I think I, think I laid down to read a book or something and I thought, I can't, I can't smell that. So I ran and got another cube. <laughs> so three cubes. Uh, I could smell it then, but it was... I, I don't, I, my plan for my overnight warmer is one cube, maybe two. Anyway, yeah, it's a hit and miss with this, but it's so nice when you, when it works, when it works, it's really nice. Sugar. Oh, I love this bar. I took it out of my club because I had pink haze and sugar and I needed to make room and I love pink haze. I can't get rid of it. So I took, gave up sugar. I shouldn't have. Uh, sugar is like lemon drop and sugar. It's so nice. Anyway, I warmed this in my overnight warmer a couple of times. So, so nice, very soothing, good bar for the overnight warmer. If you have sugar, try it. One bar, one cube though, I think was fine. And then right now going is Caramel Vanilla Delight. This is the ice cream and caramel and uh, white rum. It's very nice. It's a great uh, overnight warmer. I was gonna take this out of my club because I have, bring back my bar, or the end of the fall winter season rather, I could get rid of bring back my bars easier than I can can you know skip over bars I love in the fall winter and since he has disappointed us so many times that I can't risk it but I I'm chocolate full in two clubs now <laughs> I was thinking if maybe I could get rid of this but this is going to be a nice bakery for summer because the, the summer bakery really it's so bad <laughs> so I'm hanging on to it anyway it's great in the overnight warmer if you have that then in my office, I did some Autumn Ma Blaze Maple. Uh, I wanted to test it out again. Uh, crisp Apple, Pumpkin, Golden Maple, Cinnamon Oak. Oh, it's nice. Um, I smell mostly Crisp Apple, a little bit of Golden Maple. And Golden Maple, it's not like maple syrup. It's more like, it almost smells a little bit like Roger syrup or something. It's got a little a little less a uh, little less intensity but it's still got that maple hint and then the oak I can really smell the oak I don't smell any pumpkin just oak oak and apple it's nice really nice anyway it's in my club now uh, I wanted to try it so I warmed it in my office it was very very nice I did birthday wishes I did this in the bedroom half of the bar in the bedroom and half of the bar in the office and this is from the moments by moments and it's just um, Sprinkles, cake batter, vanilla. 
it was so yummy in there in both those rooms. I, I hesitated because I thought, oh, birthday cake? You know, birthday wishes, but it's birthday cake. But it was really nice in the bedroom. Highly recommend. I have about, I think, three bars, two bars left of that. Then I did a combination in my office. Somebody had recommended. Cozy cardigan around the campfire. I did uh, one and a half cubes of cozy, uh, cozy cardigan in each warmer, two warmers, and then one half of uh, around the campfire. Oh, so, so nice in my office. I enjoyed every moment I sat in there. I love cozy cardigan. I just don't have room in my club. It's rose suede and uh, amber silk. It's so pretty, but I am nervous about it. I think it might go. Yeah, it might not come back. So I don't know what to do. I might haul some more. I'll have to think. I might do an in and out club, so maybe I'll haul some more. Eh. And then, of course, around the campfires in my club. Plus, I've, I've hauled some for the summer. I've, I've strategically placed it in the club that I'll get more of before the end of the summer because I take it camping with me all the time. And I almost use a whole bar every, for every camping trip. So, anyway, uh, now on to the rest of the uh, living room house. I had a couple of adventures. <laughs> the first one was, I had one bar of buckleberry left and I was trying to figure out what to do with it. Uh, I tried to give it away to my girl gang. Nobody wanted it. It's uh, fresh berries, buttery, crumbly coffee cake. I don't get that. I don't get fresh berries either. I get a very sharp berry, uh, rich, dense. It's a good, it's a good performer. I'll give it that. It just has a sharpness to my nose, and I don't think everyone's getting that same sharpness because people are loving that. Anyway, I wanted to warm it, so I did my whole uh, living room uh, foyer. Uh, I put the first, I did it twice because this, I did half the bar with French toast in the same warmers. And then, uh, so, but it, French toast did okay, smoothed it out, but you could still smell the buckleberry, so that was okay. And French toast is just egg batter. This was in my club, I'd taken it out. I'm starting to smell um, sort of the egg batter more, uh, powdered sugar maple syrup. Anyway, I have a couple bars left, but I've got a lot of bakery now with all the bring back my bars. So anyway, that was okay, the first half of the bar. And then I took the other half of the bar and I read this mix from somebody and warmed it with Welcome Home. And I did one, a uh, cube, a smaller portion of a cube with a cube, of, or two of this and one of this, I think is how I did it. Anyway, uh, welcome home, and that was a good mix. I, I could smell the buckleberry, but it wasn't sharp. It was, uh, you know, it got, it picked up the spices from welcome home, so that was good. And then in the kitchen, the whole time I was warming buckleberry, both, both combinations, I warmed almond croissant. This is a good, um, strong kitchen bar for me. It did really well. I used two cubes from a new bar and the whole of this in two separate warmings. Anyway, this is really good. And I um, I gave it a powerhouse warm. Now I'm down to my um, changing my wax in my kitchen every day. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. Anyway, did, did the buckleberry. Um, then I did blueberry cheesecake and uh, blueberry pancakes together in the same warmer all through my main floor <laughs> every room like kitchen living room office my bedroom in my bedroom i put just this and then i added a couple of cubes of caramel chestnut but everywhere else got blueberry pancakes i just wanted to use up blueberry cheesecake um and i wanted to use up i don't know there's something about the pancake one now that i've had these bars for quite a while it used to be in my club and i took it out to make room um, blueberry butter cord and light maple. It has a slight sharpness to it now that I can't, I, maybe it's the butter cord. Anyway, it was a nice combination because it toned down the cheesecake and it toned down that sharp kind of edge. Anyway, more on the bricks in a, in a, in a flash. I have something to say about those. Anyway, that was a good combo. We used up that whole brick. Another brick that I went and used up was this spiced eggnog. It was a brick from uh, December 2021 it was a Christmas brick and um, I did have one in my kit then I used that up that Christmas and then I had two others and so I've slowly I've worn this all year I've slowly used up two bricks so this one I just finished and I had you know cut it all up it was floating around in here I thought I'm just gonna do the whole main floor so that's what I did every I put just uh, 
spiced eggnog in the bedroom and in the office and then in the living room and the kitchen I did mixed it with uh, mocha doodle. Uh, mocha doodle didn't really hold its own too well but I mean it added a bit of it you know something. Mocha doodle is coffee bean cocoa caramel and heavy cream. It was in my club for the summer so now I've taken it out um, and it's a, I like it. It's a good scent. I, I think I like it better on its own though because uh, it lost itself a bit with this. Anyway this was good except I'll tell you, the wax in this, it does not hold up. <laughs> I mean, it smelled exactly perfect. Like the smell, the scent of it was fine. But the wax, it almost is, I'm probably dating myself here, plasticine, you know, it's like more sophisticated Play-Doh <laughs> back when I was a kid. You know, it bent and still, you know, you, with plasticine, you can kind of bend it and it stays there. <laughs> That's what this did. When I was cutting them, they were kind of, dipping with a knife. I have one of those cutters and anyway, yeah. <laughs> and then when you warm them in the warmers, the schmutz, you know, looks like you've got a little blunt brown stain on the bottom, but when you go to wipe your dish out, it comes away gray. So there's a lot of schmutz from this. So I have this in my club. I'm getting bars and I, I'm glad to get the bars now because they'll be freshly poured. But I, I can't, I don't have any in stock because my girl gang love it. And so they clean me out at Christmas, so I'm gonna get another eggnog in April. Yeah, no, March, March 26th. Anyway, that's that brick. Then right now, going through my whole house, <laughs> maraschino sugar cookie. Um, I'm trying, I used this up. Uh, this is from this year's uh, uh, Christmas bricks, and it's uh, sugar cookie dough, vanilla and a maraschino cherry glaze. Anyway, this is a very cherry, although I'm warming it right now in my whole house. Just started today. I had initially right out of the gate, cherry sugar cookie. Now I'm getting just a more sugar cookie with a bit of sweetness, but you can't really smell the cherry. So, and it's probably been in the warmers, turned on now six or seven hours, six hours. Yeah, because I turned it on pretty early today. Anyway, it's not, um, a powerhouse. It'll be done by the end of the day. And I uh, warmed it. I added some uh, oats and honey to the kitchen, to the kitchen warmers. I put, I used a little less of this and added some oats and honey because I thought, Ugh. yeah, anyway, and I think I might've added oats and honey in the office as well. I used a whole bar of oats and honey with this. So it's all used up now. Um, I didn't get another bar of maraschino sugar cookie and I didn't put it in my club. It's nice. I think it'll end up in the catalog next winter for those who love it. I didn't, it's not my favorite. I mean, it's fine. It's just not a favorite. Anyway, um, then I did Black Forest Pine in my kitchen. This lasted three days. <laughs> it's a doozer. This was in the Epcot offering last year for Sensi. They put it in that Epcot flower show at Epcot Center. Uh, dark fur balsam, pepper tangerine, smoked vanilla. It was, um, it was uh, set of the month December last year in 2021. Anyway, really, really love this. This to me is not a Christmas scent. It's not a Christmas tree scent. To me, it's a winter fur scent. Like warming it now, January, February, it's a perfect time. It's in my club. I love it. Uh, the first warm I did with a little bit of cher ch a maraschino sugar cookie in the kitchen and I warmed this. And then the next day, I dug out some rum raisin cookie, half a bar in the kitchen. That was a very nice combo. This is cookie dough, um, freshly baked cookie, rum, raisin, and clove. Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing my one cube in a warmer, changing it out every day in my kitchen now. So this one got changed out again in the next day and I put the rest of the bar in there. So th this went three days, so really, really good. Um, I also did Autumn Sunset, which is apple, pumpkin, fall leaf spices, top 10. I got a feeling this one isn't coming back. And I thought about putting in my club. I just can't, I, I put so many bars in my club. I just can't fit another thing in. And I, I don't know. I might, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I've got a couple. I don't think it'll come back though. I'm thinking. And then I used uh, pumpkin cinnamon swirl in my kitchen. This is very nice with that. This is just like a pumpkin cinnamon roll. Yeah, it's pumpkin uh, cinnamon and whipped icing, but it smells, it doesn't smell that pumpkin-y. It smells more like just a cinnamon roll. It's very nice. I didn't club this. I, 
I'm risking this because I wanted to put um, caramel apple craze in instead. So anyway, eh. and I did do um, fairy tale pumpkin in my living room. <laughs> I think this is my last bar. I had like three or four bars of free bars when Sensi was giving them away. Uh, I don't mind it. It's uh, pumpkin, uh, black raspberry, and black licorice. It does well. It holds its own for two days. Yeah, it was fine. And in the kitchen, I did uh, two rounds of uh, walnut raisin muffin. I really like that. But that was a really actually a very good pairing. It was they, This one held its own. It was nice. Very nice. Anyway, that's my... That's my haul of warming, but now I'm gonna talk about my fave and the fail. And they're actually, well, let me get, drag my props over here. Um, my fave and my fail is Perk Me Up. <laughs> uh, let me explain. Uh, I have, as many people had recommended, because I was having some trouble with bakery in my kitchen lasting just a day, and then I, re then I realized, oh, I hauled these ages ago. I've had these for a year. They were from Amazon. Um, I ordered them. They came, I think they come in 50 or a hundred. I can't remember. Anyway, this is, I've had them a year and I use them periodically, but I thought this would be perfect time to dig them out and use them so that I can warm, change the wax every day in my kitchen. Now, here's what they look like. They're paper. This is paper. And then in the inside, there's a slight coating. You can't scratch it away with your fingernail, but it's almost like wax paper, if, you know, like that consistency. Um, it just protects the paper. Anyway, I use those. And here's a dish from my Starry Frontier warmer. They fit in there very nicely. They're in the kitchen. All my kitchen warmers are white right now. So they aren't that obvious. Um, the only warmer they don't fit in is square bottoms. They don't seem to fit because of the shape of this. That does not, it's not friendly to the square. <laughs> anyway. So what I did with the Perk Me Up, I wanted to try it. I wanted coffee scent, but I didn't want coffee all day. So I thought, I'm gonna try Perk Me Up. I'm gonna put it in the warmer. So in this warmer, I would have my daytime warm, which right now is the maraschino cookie, sugar cookie. Uh, and then in the and then I would put a cube in here, and at night I would take this out, let it harden, have that in there with, with the Perk Me Up cube, and then I can turn it on in the morning I get coffee. When I'm tired of coffee, I take this out carefully, the liquid, I set it down. Within 10, 15 minutes it's hard, or you can stick it in your freezer. In five minutes it's hard. And then I put my regular wax back in. There you go. Uh, this is a handy dandy tool because when you wanna change your wax, you just do that and out it comes. Now, you can see in the bottom, there's a bit of schmutz. This one has been used probably, well, I use this one with the eggnog. Uh, this has probably been used for, oh, weeks. <laughs> Sometimes I spray it with counter clean and get a little bit of it off and start again, but it doesn't take much. And then, yeah, anyway, I think, and then when you when you're ready to you know, swap it out for a new one, you just throw it in the garbage because it's just paper. It would compost, I'm sure. Anyway, I find them super handy, but they're very handy for coffee or sense that you only want to warm for part of the day, right? That's the, that's the key. So it's a, it's a fave because I got the system and I can warm it for part of the day and enjoy it. It's a fail because it barely warms for a couple of hours. I cannot smell this. I had coffee tree. I still have a couple of bars. I took it out of my club. And coffee tree was a boomer. That's one of the reasons I took it out of my club. I could, it smelled all day and I didn't want coffee all day. <laughs> but uh, this one is not, does not perform. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, everyone seems to really like it. But it just doesn't last. It's, it, it's very light. Yeah, and it, it, you know what it reminds me of? Most of you are probably too young, but when I was a kid, my dad drank instant coffee. And he'd say, Lenny, go make your dad a cup of instant coffee. And I'd go boil a kettle and make him a cup of instant coffee. <laughs> this smells like that. <laughs> Brings back memories of my dad. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's my fave and it's my fail. And um, part of it, the reason it's a fave is because I have a system now. So. 
Now I'm doing my one cube of kitchen wax bakery. In the morning, I just pop it out and put a new wax in. And I save these little little uh, tarts and I put them in a bag and I take them to my, when I go camping and we have a campfire, we throw them on. My husband uses them as fire starters. Yeah, anyway, that's my tip of the day. And that's my fave and my fail. I'm not clubbing this. I'm not hauling anymore either, no. My coffee search has not ended. Um, I do like hazelnut latte better anyway. Okay, that's it for me. Hope that was helpful. That's my fave and a fail. I managed to do it 30 minutes. I've gotta, I've gotta go. <laughs> I've gotta get off of here. No more talking, Linda. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I did haul some stuff um, at the beginning of February for uh, to get some of the discontinuing items. I'll share that when it arrives and uh, some wax as well. And then I have a club coming in March. I do plan a trip in March. So I'll be gone to Florida. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> gotta say. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I, I'll, I'll do some more uh, YouTube in the February and I'll let you know when I'm going off. And uh, anyway, I'll be back. You'll see me again. We'll talk to you later. Bye.